Mark Gattis and Corey Lane. Gattis, don't call him Gattis, he'll slap Gattis. you, he'll, he'll cut you. He'll cut <laughs> you. Corey Lane, yeah. uh, Andrew Scott in Birdland, yeah. uh, Benedict doing Hamlet mm -hmm. next uh, mm -hmm. year, and yourself doing Richard III. Mm -hmm. uh, Sherlock's taking over. Theatre well, I don't know. I mean, you know, we're all people who have done theatre for a long time. Do you know what I mean? It's just that we now happen to have that label to hang on us. But, you know, we're all sort of theatre bods. You know what I mean? We've all been doing it for years. And, um, I mean, obviously, if Sherlock helps in any way, then fantastic. But, uh, no, we'd all be there anyway. I do, well, I don't know where we'd be anyway, but we'd be doing plays. Any chance of Sherlock the musical? Put it to them. I'll, I'll let you be the executive producer on that one for that idea. Yeah. OK. Yeah. I like it. I like it. Are you rehearsing now, are you? Uh, no, I start rehearsing next month for Richard, yeah. How do you feel going into the You feel nervous and excited, kind of in equal measure. Um, you know, on the one hand, you think, I've got to live up to this, and then on the other hand, <clears throat> you think, well, you know, there's living up to it, but there's also, it's, it's a play, and I'm an actor, and we have a right to do plays, you know, I mean, it is... I say it's just a play, it's just a very, very good play. But um, I think where you screw yourself up is if you start thinking about the legacy of who's played it and the legacy of what it all means. And I think, well, you know, I've got, I've got a right to play it, or, but it is still kind of, um, it's kind of nerve-wracking, yeah. Busy boy at the moment. I mean, Thank God, yeah. There's so much going on, which is always good for an actor, I know. It's yeah. to be in work. Of course, yeah. Are you excited about uh, Fargo? Yes, I am. I am. I, th I think I like it, you know. That's all I've ever gone on. Do I like it? <clears throat> you know, before The Office came out, I thought, well, I like it, you know. And before Sherlock came out, I thought, I like it. Um, <clears throat> I hope people like it, because I think it's really good. You know. It's beautifully written, beautifully shot, quite well acted. So, yeah. Do you stop and think at the moment about how kind of crazy it is with all the stuff going on and then back on the theatre, or are you just... You don't really. I mean, I mean partly because you don't have time, and partly, I think, because it would be the kiss of death, you know, to kind of think wow, I'm such a busy, important actor. Do you know what I mean? But I, of course I am very busy and very lucky with that. But no, you tend to just sort of keep your head down and learn lines, you know. There's been a lot of talk really about how busy you all are affecting the next Sherlock. Is that, yeah. you think it will still happen maybe another year or so? I think it probably will happen. I'm sure it will happen. I just don't know when. And I think not, I don't think any of us can say when. I mean, Mark would probably be best placed to say